Welcome back to another video in the Top-Down RPG Template Tutorial Series. In the previous video, we covered how to create different types of status effects, and now we will learn how to apply them to characters using status effect areas. There are two types of areas provided in the template, Sphere and Square. We can drag them into the level and apply buffs or debuffs to certain characters. From the Details panel, we can adjust the size and set the status effect ID. This checkbox determines who will receive the status effect. If it's a buff and this isn't checked, only player characters will get the status effect. Bonuses that this status effect should apply can be added in this section. The description will appear when the mouse is hovered over the icon on the UI. Interval sets how often the dot should apply. Duration is the lifetime of the status effect area. A duration of zero means the area is permanent. Anything else will remove the status effect area from the level after a set duration. Now let's test the status effects we created in the previous video. We can set the status effect ID, write a description, and add the bonuses. In this case, the interval and dot don't matter because the status effect isn't a dot effect. We will also make sure that this status effect is not from an enemy character because it's a buff that we want to apply to the player character. When we stand on the area, our cold resistance goes up to 50% just as we planned. Next, let's test the Ignore Defense debuff. This time, we'll make sure the status effect is from an enemy character because it's a debuff that we want to test on ourselves. We'll add minus 100% defense and write a description for it. When we stand on the area, we can see the debuff on the UI. For testing purposes, we can generate a shield from the inventory dialog to check if our defense actually goes to zero or not. Lastly, let's take a look at the default status effect area placed in the level. This area applies the burn debuff which is a dot effect that deals 5 damage every second to player characters. As you can see, we take 5 damage per second, and the tooltip on the icon gives us information about the debuff. We can create our own status effect areas by using the status effect area base blueprint as a parent and implementing our own logic. These areas can also be used with skills, like the firewall area blueprint, which is spawned when the firewall skill is cast. It's essentially a square status effect area that expands over time and applies the burn debuff. In the next video, we'll cover how to create skills and use status effect areas with them. Thank you for watching.